In the last part, I uh, got the axe uh, hung and the wedge fitted. Um, I'm really happy with how it came out. Uh, really, the only thing that's le things that are left to do that I want to get it get done to it before it's uh, up and usable, um, or put an edge on it. Uh, which, if you can, if you notice here, I've actually already done, but I forgot to film in introduction here, so doing it a little bit after the fact. <laughs> um, but yeah, put an edge on it, uh, which I did. I'll include some footage of kind of sharpening it up uh, afterwards, but I, I, you know, filed it um, using this um, furred file. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, and then just this hardware store Nicholson handy file. Um, it's one of those that's made in Mexico, but it seems to be working pretty well. Um, I don't know how the quality control is, but this one's been working well for me, so no complaints so far. And it's fairly cheap, too, so um, yeah. And then after that, I ended up using, um, you'll see it in the video, but the, some of these Easy Lap uh, little diamond hones. So it goes everywhere from, you know, coarse, extra coarse, to super fine. I'm not sure what the grits on it are exactly. Uh, I guess super fine is 1200 and extra coarse is 150 That seems about right. Um, yeah, these are really handy. And I, I like that they're on a little stick. They've got just a little bit of flexibility to them. Um, so they kind of contour to the... The edge nicely you kind of grip that and then kind of hone the edge so they've got the edge sharpened up it's uh i'm happy with it bring in for a little closer look here um but yeah i'm happy with how that came out um it took a really nice uh uh you know wire edge on the bevel made a nice burr popped off when i was dropping it so Pretty good, uh, super sharp, shaving sharp. Um, I got got a little bit of footage of uh, me shaving my arm with it. It's not great, but <laughs> it does it. Um, not really the only thing that I want to do with it still is uh, put a sheath together for it. We'll get going on it. All right, so these are really our three pieces that we uh, that you need. So the front of the sheath, mask, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the welt it's actually gonna go like that when you're finally assembled and then the back piece is gonna go like that and this will bend over the top So we're all done with the glue up. It's dried and cured mostly. You can see we've got three layers, um, with, you know, the front, the welt, and the back. I'm at the bottom here where I was trying to build up a little bit more of that thickness. Um, we've got five. I did taper um, those pieces there. It tapers a little bit from here to here. It gives us a little bit more room for that uh, bottom of that, um, the beard to kind of sit in there. So I'm going to do right now, I've just got this little 1x30, cheap Harbor Freight one. Um, I think it's a 180 grit belt on there. 
doesn't really matter as long as it's um, decently sharp. I'm just going to go around and kind of clean up these, uh, these edges here. Right, so we got that evened out a bit. Um, really the goal is just to kind of even up those pieces of leather. Um, we'll probably end up cleaning it up a little bit more with some hand sandpaper and then when we actually go to burnish it, but yeah, just even it out so all three of those stacks uh, are fairly even. In this case, five on the bottom here. All right, we'll drill the holes for rivets. <coughs> Since I decided to stitch it, um, I am going to go set the drill bit up for these smaller holes in the drill press and uh, punch those through. It's pretty self-explanatory, so I don't think I'm going to show it, but uh, you get the idea. All right, we're back. All of our holes are drilled uh, for both our copper rivets and our uh, threads. So uh, I'm using some waxed cotton cord. So I've got it stitched all the way around, uh, doubled back over here just until it kind of ran out of thread. So double stitch there along that portion. Um, so really now I'm ready to start doing the copper rivets. So see that compresses, it drives that. Um, There's that burr down on that rivet, rivet and it uh, shank of that rivet and it grabs. That is one of the rivets that has not been peened yet versus one that is. We've got our edge all burnished up. It's pretty much dry. Um, the leather itself is really pretty dry. 
So, um, last thing I'm going to do is just going to throw some open-offs on it. People talk about getting it to a wire edge. That is literally that wire edge. That's that burr that just came off. All right, so that's way sharper than an axe really needs to be probably, but I'm happy with it. The steel took a really nice edge. It got a really, uh, really nice wire bevel or wire, wire edge on it uh, at the bevel. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. 
Um, wasn't overly hard. Uh, it's probably good. Um, shouldn't risk chipping out at any point. It might roll a little bit if I hit something really hard, but I'd prefer that. So still really happy with how that blue bluing came out. Same with that, uh, that polished edge too. Or semi-polished. It's a honed edge, I guess. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Nice and sharp, though. 